guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you a project that I'm working on and it holds potatoes and onions and it's a potato and onion bin is what they call it here in Canada. But it's like a little cupboard and it's really cute, but I wanted to redo it. So we're going to be working on that today. Okay guys, so this is a potato and onion holder and it looks pretty good but I want to redo it into my kind of style. So that is what we're going to do right now. Now for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a light coat of white paint, just a base coat so that when I do do the Mod Podge of the napkin you won't see through onto the wood, it will be white below. So that's the stage we're at right now. Okay guys, so I did a quick coat of the white paint, it's dry now, so what I'm going to do is I have these purple squared napkins, they look like this, purple and white, so I'm going to mod podge this, so for the napkin all I'm going to do is open it up. and then you want to separate it. There's usually two layers, if not three or four. You don't want the paper, you just want the pattern. So you separate it just like this. And now you have it separated. Now you have two options. You could use the whole napkin or you could just cut off this white square which is what I'm going to do and I'm just going to cover it with this. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay guys, so what I did was I cut my napkin not perfectly, it can be a little bit rough. It's not a big deal to me. And then I'm going to lay it down on this panel and I'm going to Mod Podge it down so it looks like that. So, what I have is my Mod Podge and a paintbrush. And I'm going to put a layer on the bottom first. on the wood of Mod Podge just like that and then I'm going to lay the napkin down on the Mod Podge, just like that. And then I'm going to do a thin coat of Mod Podge on top of it again, just to seal it.
and that's the first piece and I'm just going to continue that until I have it all covered. Now the Mod Podge is dry, so that's how it looks so far. So when I flip it open, this is white, and this is white, and up top here is white. So I'm going to paint them purple, and I have this purple here, right there, and it's violet. So I'm just going to paint this, and this, and a few other areas purple. So that's the stage I'm at now. done I put the handle and the clip back on so that when it's standing this doesn't this cover doesn't fall open so I did inside purple and white so it looks like this um, the top one is purple up here white inside and then the tip top uh, you'll get a better view when I show you at the end but I did purple along here and then the heart I did sky blue and then the tip top just a little blue for color so the last part that I'm going to be doing is I got some ribbon like this and I come on a roll like this and I I don't know I paid a dollar for a lot of ribbon in a bag so it's really only cost me maybe five ten cents to use it if that. So I'm going to be hot glue gunning two strips on each level. So that's what I'm going to do here, 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 and here. And then at the top I'm going to go to the opposite side just to give it some color on the top and put some on this side here. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay guys, so the cupboard is all finished. I think it turned out really cute. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye everyone.